because I want you to like really define holistic equity. Like, re, like okay. what is your succinct version of that? Like, I know, like we're we're touching upon it, we're around it, we're orbiting it. But then beyond that, your company, your website is holisticequity.org. So, right, right, right. <laughs> when, like, like how is holistic and equity kind of paired together? Because before you, right. and we've done a lot of books in the DEI space, right, a lot right. of equity related work. I used to do consulting in the space. But yet I hadn't seen prior to you this idea of holistic and equity side by side. And I think right. it's really fascinating. So can you just kind of share a little? Right. So so let's start with with the, uh, a really uh, strong foundation. So let's start with the, the National Academies of Science in 2019, 2020 um, came up with a consensus definition of what they mean by equity. OK, so it's really solid. They, and it was. Um, uh, Hold on, I actually have it. Love it. I, I actually have uh, made bookmarks to <laughs> have, it up, have it easy. Um, so, so their three-part definition was basically about distributing resources, about removing structural barriers, and then um, that needs um, have to be satisfied. Like it has to be attached to needs. Now they only mentioned needs once, and so I was like, okay, that's great. You know, consensus, people, you know, can all agree on this. Um, but if you don't understand the role that needs play, then then you've got a problem. So one of the things I suggest is that, okay, let's take that needs. And what I do is I reframe their consensus definition slightly. Um, uh, I say, well, okay, distribute resources, but distribute resources to satisfy needs. Mm -hmm. um, I say, remove structural barriers to need satisfaction and then satisfy needs with parity across groups like okay we've yeah. got it all there but that the one piece that has to happen first before any of those mm -hmm. is you have to define your needs scientifically yeah and that's where the work i've been doing actually gets into that very specifically it's been doing the, it's a framework called self-determination theory mm -hmm. and they have been they they back in the 70s posited this idea that oh wait a minute maybe human beings have what they call basic and what I call primary psychological needs. Uh -huh. Now, you know, your needs for air, water, food, shelter, and yeah. sleep. Well, the yeah. first four air, water, food, and shelter, you'll die if you don't get those needs met. Yeah. Okay. But the yeah. fifth needs sleep. You don't die from a lack of sleep. Now there are dysfunctions that will result uh -huh. that may then kill you, but yes. the lack of sleep will not in itself kill you. Yeah. So what are the symptoms of a lack of sleep? more anxiety, more depression, more uh, just psychological distress of various kinds. Well, it turns out they posited three other needs that are also psychological. Therefore, they, they don't kill you, but you get more anxiety, more depression, more distress. Mm -hmm. um, and those are for autonomy, competence, and relatedness. Mm. And it's like, and so this is 50 years of, of solid scientific, well-respected research that says, yes, in fact, we have that. And they were just psychologists looking at motivation. That was their focus. Um, and they did not set out to talk about learning. But they discovered in the process that their those three psychological needs are fundamental to learning as well. And so when you have a school system that has also decades of research that show that the kids are disengaged, and not only kids, the teachers Mm -hmm. are disengaged at a rate of 70 percent according to gallup's data um you know and and by the way that's not actually an unusually high amount of disengagement that's actually par for the course in the united states 70 percent of the u.s workforce is disengaged mm -hmm. but disengagement is that piece where you know okay that's where you're if you're disengaged you're not learning as deeply as you could yeah now it doesn't mean you're not learning anything but you're certainly not learning as much as you could. And so I think the bigger problem in education is not the get, the achievement gap. Mm -hmm. um, it's the engagement gap. And mm -hmm. the engagement gap is far worse because I was somebody who was disengaged for many years in my schooling. Mm -hmm. And think of how much time I wasted be, be, be being disengaged. I could have been learning so much more and better. I probably wouldn't have dropped out of college. I, I might not have even gone to college had I been engaged in following my passions, I mean, I might have. I, I, yeah. As an adult, I found that doing this academic stuff is actually kind of fun. Um, <laughs> but 
the guy, you know, that's it, it's an open question as to whether or not I would have direct gone directly into that, followed that path, um, mm -hmm. had I been truly engaged in following the passions of my life uh, mm -hmm. when I was younger. Um, yeah. So, so that's the key right there. Is is yeah. holistic to me is is I had to have a term to talk about equity to distinguish it from the normal, the regular everyday conversation in equity. Yeah. Uh, because I'm not talking. I'm not focused on the kind of group outcomes that most uh, people are focused on. And I think that's the place where my book uh, is going a new place is, is it's, yeah. you know, saying, Hey, equity should be about in order to be holistic as take the whole person into account. And that whole person includes who are you, how are you in this world? And what is, how do we support your autonomy, your competence okay. and your relatedness? Yeah. Um, and, and that's going to be universal. Uh, it's going to help all kids. Mm -hmm. Um, if you can do that better in your schools. Yeah. It feels like you're really bridging the gap in this conversation in a lot of ways where you're making kind of equity more digestible because you are looking yeah. at it in a more holistic way, which I feel like is going to, like you're saying, is impacting all kids. Right. Which, you know, right is exactly. A fantastic outcome and based on science and psychology, which. Right. Yeah. Which, which really is what to me is kind of differentiating what what this book is about and why this book is different and it exactly. makes me very excited for what the what the future holds exactly yeah if you could as we're kind of like nearing the the end of our conversation if you could mm -hmm. wave a magic wand and you have someone's read your book you know in a week from now a month from now a year from now whenever it is and they feel a profound change mm -hmm. from having read this book what would what do you think they would be saying to you so I think that, that there's, there's two kinds of, of responses to that, I think. And, and that is, there's going to be people who are kind of, like I did, grew up in the system and, and maybe we're, we're training for that system and going into it and, and saying, wow, you know, I didn't realize how that, like some of the stuff that was normalized is really not okay. You know, so that revelation of like, oh, okay, you know, like, like I've, I've literally had um, some teachers uh, come to me after reading previous versions of aspects of the book and say, I didn't realize how much harm I was doing, mm. um, which is sad in a way, and, and they feel bad. But my part of the reason I needed to, you know, really pull a lot into this was in order to ensure that what I, I'm not just saying that's bad but i'm saying here's the path to something better something that is morally satisfying and gratifying you know and 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 really builds a you know, like you can move in a new direction that is better i am just so excited that uh, that we are here and it is it is today is the day so yeah, yeah. i have your website at the bottom of the screen uh, yes, so people good. go check out holisticequity.org your book is available in all of the places. You're a nice uh, Vanna White here. Uh, yes. Schooling for Holistic Equity, How to Manage hidden, the Hidden Curriculum in K through 12. So if anyone is interested in that, I am a big fan as is Publisher Purpose of supporting independent local bookstores. So please, if you have the opportunity, if there's one in your area, just walk in and say, hey, I need to order Don's book. Boom, you can yep. get it. Um, if you don't have one in your area, uh, bookshop.org is an online independent bookstore that does a ton of good in the community of authors and uh, in the world of literature. So uh, strongly encourage them as well. And of course, if you are, uh, you know, used to just doing one click purchasing via Amazon, the book is there as well. So Absolutely. whatever makes sense for you, but, you know, support local when possible. Don, is there any final, final parting words that you'd like to share before we conclude? Well, um, I just want to, you know, thank you for for seeing me through this process and 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 being a wonderful resource um, in taking next steps for my book, um, and and really appreciate that and uh, encourage people to yeah order it. Uh, I'm available through my website. Um, I'm I'm just really excited to help serve and and help people humanize their schools. Um, so if there's any way I can help, I'm I'm willing to do it. 